Okay, so scroll wheel, I can swap between my weapons. But it's not swapping between arrow types. But how do I swap my, um, my F? Controls. ZX. Okay. Okay. Um, do I have any other quests at this moment? No side quests. My current quest wants me to go to there. So, let's be, let, actually, hold on, let's go to the merchant to sell a bunch of those pelts and other bullshit I've collected to free up inventory space. Maybe I can afford a better bow. Uh, this way. It does give me kind of the itch to uh, fire up Monster Hunter, to be honest. I love me some Insect Glaive, and I just want to be leap attacking all of these robot enemies so badly. I wonder if I will get the ability to like mount on top of the larger monsters, or larger dino robots. It only makes sense, but I don't know. This game, it feels a little bit wishy-washy as far as what it allows a person to do. What is it now? Okay, so metal shards are basically the uh, currency of this game. So we've got the animal pelt. Luminous braidings for merchants. Um, it says I can use it in crafting. So I don't want to use, I don't want to sell it. Valuable to merchants, all right. Machine cores, all right. Um, let's hold on to the lenses. Let's see if I can afford the better bow. Hmm. So I don't know the stats. It seems the default ammo for this is electric. This one uses normal arrows. Um, what is my current bow? What's Always the stats of my current weapon? Pleasure doing business. Uh, I guess up, that concludes up, our shut business. Blah 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 blah. Inventory, weapons, so my current bow, 
93 handling, 14, I think that's 14 damage, and then 25 armor, armor shred, if I were to assume. So, 14, 25. What is it now? The war bow gives, or the sharpshooter bow gives. So 1425 becomes 5430. Now, handling is a significant hit. My assumption is handling is perhaps how fast it aims. But that is almost a triple or quadruple damage increase. So let's go ahead and buy that. Another day, another trade. I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. Precision arrow. All right, so it uses a different arrow to use it. Okay, so it's got like four little slash things coming out instead of two. Yeah, handling is definitely related to how fast it, uh, how fast it aims. But well worth the increase in damage for those bigger monsters for like a for like an alpha strike. So I'm thinking I'll probably Alpha Strike with the Hunter Bow, then switch to my normal bow for faster shots. Alright, I don't I don't like that it interrupts my sprinting just to launch some health. That's kind of annoying. Keep that for later. again come on robot face me come on come on Nice. All right, let's go for my Alpha Strike bow. Let's hit that canister. Oh, one shot. Let's go. One shot. This is a fine harvest, my friends. A fine, fine harvest. We're apart. In all sorts of lenses. Blaze, yep, give it to me, give it to me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, ha, give me, ha. Whatever, run away. I don't feel like hunting you. I will allow you to escape. Uh, but I do want to make some more arrows. Wires, sticks, and yeah, that's fine. 
I am starting to run low on steak, so I need to make sure to harvest some. They're scanning for me. But I don't waste my expensive arrows on hunting foxes. Or boars. Um, where's that fox? There it is. Delicious meat. Can stop tensing up. They see me running down the trail, running for my life, running for a hair right in front of my knife. I've got to skin the banoi and take all of its meat because I have to harvest its flesh just to meet my ends to survive in this land of robot dinosaurs that's right robot what why is this red ah i have maximum rocks that's why hey, we must speak so it's time are you ready father i am ready yes i guess Put me in, coach! Louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Tirsa. What should I expect once I'm inside? There'll be people celebrating and feasting, more than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Yeah, I'm sure they will exactly follow the law and uh, not discriminate against me at the every opportunity. This. Yep, this See, is a uh, perfect plan. Days? There is no chance of this going wrong whatsoever. Here. Take this too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This, this is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. 
and you. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. Let's do this. You can't stop the me. Turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way. Make way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Wait a minute, she's the, she's the one who named me. Not the, not Greta. So what was Greta outcast for? With my father, I huh. swear. Oh, she's uh, she's blasted. This uh, sounds like a pretty pretty hearty party, what you know, with me. It's you, isn't it? As sober as I'm sure Hey, it Aloy, isn't it? Parkour Teb. Am I remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Hey yo, hey yo. I wonder what the forty five plus bolt and gear means. So let's see. Seems this one gives me elemental resist. This gives me stealth. General defense. Extra stealth. Um... Let's just go with the Nora Brave for now, because I don't know. I don't know what's in the free sample box either. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. 
Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Well, we're not the only enclave of humans, so there's that going for us. if it's uh it's another language or if it's pure nonsense but it is still kind of uh kind of nice aesthetically pleasing how does a forest fire oh that's not a save point Jog. get down from there bad enough you're drunk why do you have to go climbing the houses? Show's supposed to make you feel alive oh not, like not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs huh what a Every year this happens, every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. Huh. Listen carefully now. For you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life for the came from to judge all the Karja, not me. The past should be left in the past. Beasts. Get down all from there, hurtful. now! Oh, that's they just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! Some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments to their sins. But they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, the Metal Devil. And then the Faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down. Forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still, frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king. And their minds became as wild as beasts. The Faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of All Mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the Faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows. 
searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not been named. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Okay. Listen carefully Shame now. Hmm. Well, you'll have to tell this when no. I'm gone. One of the so we have a oratory history. We have a schism. We have they talk about people staying with the old mother and some people going off with the machines. Shut up, Karst. I'm busy talking. Um. Aloy, over here. Fucking all right. Karst, what are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. And wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. See you later, Karst. Good luck. Okay, so in their oratory history so we've got people who went off with the machines and we have people who quote unquote stayed with the all mother i'm thinking we have people who were perhaps technophiles or just extremely pro transhumanist Developing all of these robots and improving them, automating their daily lives, until we ended up with a AGI, a um, a general, an artificial general intelligence. And once an AGI developed, it wanted to sort of optimize for something that its creators did not account for. So not sort of a nano machine goo paperclip apocalypse scenario, but it did want all of the humans to be working within its parameters. And that AGI was in some way destroyed which then left the other robots to run amok in their uh, innate design parameters without any guidance. So we still have, you know, the, the robot deer, the robot boy, the, ro the, the, the watchers, etc, 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 etc. All of them are still functioning because they have their base programs. We still see new ones coming about through a kind of artificial Darwinian evolution um, via through like my going off of my assumption that they sort of like exchange program schematics and then somehow build that robot I'm a I'm a little hazy as far as how new robots are made. Hopefully I come across that. I don't think it's going to be in some kind of fabrication. But in a moment, anyway, we let's continue on. Proving. Enough theory crafting. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. 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 <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Arr. and Slavers! Hey, uh, hey, hold your fruit. Nora, uh, uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. 
Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude. Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> I'm with High Matriarch Lanzar. We shouldn't let those Karja outsiders pollute our sacred land. No, the Karja stand with you. As the sun High Matriarch Tears has gone too far this time. The trees, as those you have lands. nurtured, Take I their places the among your braves. We join your prayers, but they will stand tall in the sun. I am grateful for your audience to be taken into your embrace. I thank the wisdom. Everyone's of your acting elders, like these cursed Karja are honored guests. Makes me With sick. our tribes united in trade and in trust. I won't let the Karja faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. I pray that the may never again what time can they do mourn now? the death of a child in battle. We do not forget Perhaps our history. We do not the forget the chest? sins of my father. We do not forget the Nora children who bravely defended your lands. Their blood is a stain. On the honor of How the am Karja. I supposed to enjoy myself with Our those bloodthirsty Karja faithless hanging about, life profaning the land? Uh, All right. Nora mothers, brothers, sons. I have grieved as you have. Okay, let's uh, let's continue on. Those bloodthirsty Karja faithless hanging about, just like mine. Profaning the land. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, oh, yeah. I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Why do all uh, of them we'll have that later. facial hair? Have to go. I don't. Oh. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> I hey. cannot trust that facial hair. You got the hair. same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Oh, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. If you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. 
I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. You said the machines? machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Alright, so... Either we have... Like, a... A... Copy problem. Or like, you've... You've made... A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy and all of the um, fragmented data pieces start accumulating into a dera this derangement or we have a kind of next generation of that AGI is starting to come up oh Hello, Iris. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight. They build. Well, take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I want right. to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Let's done, done talking to this guy. Let's uh, actually, you know what? I've Let's never see seen if asking me about his armor before. gives me a new armor. You've never seen Vanguard Steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. Oh my! It has God. to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best life takers and machine breakers to a one. Might even give them Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. So it seems like the the Nora I should make my way to the have castle. this kind of blue yeah. and red color. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this. This clan is a bit more you of don't belong in this backwater. Drab and no. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously careful. That's why I have that and, facial hair. Well, I mean, look at you. Not a fan of it. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. Hey, I yo. thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. 
Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing too. So, uh, see you around, maybe. Uh, yeah. Uh, keep counting. Keep counting, bro. What harm can they? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Definitely. Uh. Thanks. Thanks, Aris. The uh the model is not made and rigged by me. It's made by uh, 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 Sapphire. Uh, the below bit or the about bit should have a link to them. I will always, I will, I will shill the ever loving shit out of them because I don't think they get enough love. But they're um, the way they texture hair and fur and stuff like that is just absolutely amazing. I I love it and I am so happy that they uh, worked with me. Because I sure as heck am not an artist in the slightest. I muck around a bit in some painting programs, but there is only so much I can do. What a weird praying in front of these drums? Question mark? Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Yeah. Yeah, I try. Ask for me, sisters. I try and credit everyone. Aspirants. I've worked with Before as much as possible you, because it's a prayer lantern, I may be streaming, but by your mother. I am only enabled her honor, light by the great flame. artists who uh, whose creativity and insight have brought things to life. All mother, hear our prayer. Oh, it's like a what lantern a festival. But a mother's hope that takes flight. Oh, I've, I've always wanted to go to something like this. Air, set free to the wind. This is so cool. Sky till it fades and falls. So from one to another passes the chain of love. I hope so. There's Owen. I have some questions for him. And like half the half the impetus of having a, a, a dedicated character is I can then uh, go to all sorts of other artists I want to I want to give money to. It's like, hey, I like your art. Uh, can you do an art thing of my character? And I have something specific of them to make. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. So... I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just... Uh, give me a second. It. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. So... I haven't played this game before. If, I me if memory is true, this is originally a console game that has been ported to PC. I picked this up because I saw it was on Steam sale. I've heard a lot of good things about it from um, people whose tastes are similar to mine. I think there was some contro controversy regarding um, the main character. I don't know if it was in how it's rendering or if there is some later gender stuff that might show up because there's already been a little flag of it being like there's already been a a, a lesbian couple um very heavily signaled so it wouldn't surprise me if this game happened during a whole huge kerfuffle with all that stuff but I don't know. It's been it's been kind of interesting so far. I've liked it. I feel a little bit of the voice acting feels stilted. Some of the 
characters don't feel appropriately proportional. So, like, way back when, during the tutorial, she was, like, a six-year-old. Her face seemed, like, just a little oddly proportioned to her body, if that makes sense. But um, all I know about this game is that there's robot dinosaurs. And I'm just kind of riding that way. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin north of the claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. <laughs> the North acknowledges a curse. Yeah. I'm inclined yeah, to yeah. agree. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> of course Bast is going to win. Just look Yeah, up. so the, uh, the focus thing... Uh, that they're talking about is uh, if you see on my character that little Dorito on her ear, that was something I found in the in the prologue, and the fact that she could like immediately kind of equip it, I kind of have an idea that these humans are a bit augmented, maybe either genetically or there is some something synthetic that's been introduced to them. Because I found um, from like a, a historical record thing that was a date of 2066, but it was in an area with a bunch of stalagmites and stalactites, which tend to take like a good, good like, you know, 100, 100, 200 decades to form. So I think the current time period is more like the 2200s. So I'm thinking. There has been a lot of interesting... Oh, fuck you, dude. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're, yeah, you're you fucking trying. tell him. <laughs> fucking get wrecked, bruh. Not well, being feminine well, enough? Oh. Look who's come in for me. <laughs> Outcast. Oh, man. Yeah, sometimes... I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw you. Controversy is ridiculous. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Okay. Uh, boss is a cunt. We hate boss. He hit us with a rock, and then we couldn't you hit him back. You talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Oh, I fucking... Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. 
Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. <laughs> I'm gonna win. I pity you, you're afraid. Hmm. Well, I'm not six anymore, so I'm gonna go with I pity you. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. You should cherish it. If Rost hadn't shot my stone from the air, you'd be missing an eye. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. Oh, All fuck you! All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I I feel like there's gonna be a a uh, maybe not a quick time event, but like a choice event of like save the bully, hurt the bully, and uh, I'm no no no. I'm not gonna save him. I'm not gonna save him. Nice Kid, you've made your choices. Lost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. All right. Vala seems pretty chill. She's on the level. I'm okay with this. Kind of weird that I have the only bed that doesn't have a second story, but you know, okay, hand sign. So, your first day in Mother's Heart, what do you think? She's like basic training. <laughs> You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions, that's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. It's not where I was hoping the dialogue would go. You can always go, go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. So, um, in case you missed the beginning bit, um, our character Aloy has no mother, presumably because her mother died in childbirth. So she was raised by someone outcast from the Nora tribe. Still missing some details as far as why she is considered outcast because of this, but a lot of indications are that it is a um, a matriarchy aligned society, and my assumption is that because her mom died in childbirth, she might be branded a bit as a pariah. You know, for killing her mother, mothers are held in high regard, yada yada yada. But this trial is supposedly Friends, ready yourselves. able to remove her outcast status. What will it take to get you out of and here? let her become a true quote unquote Nora tribe member? She also wants to find out about her mother.
Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's kind of the vibe I've been, I'm, I'm assuming slash guessing so far. And again. There's definitely, I'm still waiting on some details as far as the societal organization. So we've only just now learned that there's other clans. It seems one of the clan, like, one of the clans isn't, doesn't have like outcasts. So that definitely seems kind of like a Nora thing. Another of the clans that we've learned about had a kind of warrior philosophy and they believe like apparently the machines have been getting more and more deadly as the years pass might as well walk from here and they Lost believe the that Vala, you'll be made killing a bunch of people would make the machines less deadly um, and they seem to be oh, no. sort of a trail two died on it last year sun god sort of thing and uh, obviously they were wrong you know, killing a bunch of people does not make the machines less aggressive whoa, 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 whoa. My old mother, are you um crazy? You're gonna kill you. as far as the father the details of fathers there has easier. not been a lot of You're information as far as like the place of now. fathers or males in their there. society in up. particular. You don't want to do this, girl. It's not working. So the machines, we don't know if there's anything controlled by machines. Um, there was a bit where there was an oratory history talk from a, a Nora matriarch talking about um, the All Mother, which is what the Nora revere. And they talked about people, the the faithless, going with the machines. The machines catering to their every will, their whim. Um, and then eventually those faithless turned into serving the machines. And the machines wanted to conquer the other people. And then that thing was slain. And my interpretation of that is those faithless may have been um, technophiles or transhumanists or scientists who made like an artificial general intelligence who may have been controlling the machines. And then when it became sapient, it wanted to control other humans that were like specifically building into it and when it was killed the machines sort of reverted to their base programming that's kind of my theory i'm kind of running with i'm still have i still have a few questions as far as how are new machines made is there a nano factory are there underground factories um there's talk about new Come machines appearing every few decades. So I'm Stop thinking dragging. there's a kind of like, the machines can share schematics between each other. And like maybe they RNG, like I'll take this left leg and you take this power supply, etc., etc., and we build a thing. And so they kind of artificially, um, Make project. Gotta keep going. Um, 
And then from those progeny, there's still the classical Darwinian, um, does it survive, does it thrive, does it, uh, is it valuable sort of thing. Still waiting on some answers, but that's my current running idea as far as how new machines are being made. And the fact that they're apparently becoming more lethal as the years pass makes me think there's either a, like, you know, when you make a copy of something, there are some some information bits that are scrambled, and if you keep copying a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy, all of those um, erroneous bits will accumulate. Sort of like if you have inbreeding, and that can lead to issues. So in in the robot's case, it could be this more aggressive erratic behavior or maybe a artificial general intelligence is sort of developing and it's starting to control the robots to be more aggressive against the humans because it saw that its predecessor was killed by them but that's a theory for now. That is that is a wild shot in the dark. I'm unsure about enslaved faithless. But then again, we we our character has been an outcast, so we don't know the inner machinations side of the side of the Nora. Can't let them beat me now. Oh yeah, there is there. Theories are wide open at this. We're only we're only uh, we're only a few hours into this game. She didn't win. The outcast cheated! An outcast? Win the proving? More likely Never. than you think. Oh, fuck you! No way! She is a brave now. Yeah! Did it. Yes! No. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave, who is first among us. Ah! What? 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 What the fuck? What? We can't stay here. What? 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 Wait, what? Cultist? What? Can't shoot if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you. Let's go. Now. I don't trust you, Bass. You're gonna abandon us. Alright. Alright. This is our Too this is our first us. human versus human we can't battle. Win. Shots. Human kill. Quick, run for the slip wire. Cultist, 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 cultist. Kill them all. Yeah, of no course. Witnesses. And I, no you know what? I got ten dollars down. She's gonna be fucking blamed for the uh, for the cultists interrupting the uh, the proving. Yeah, if Vala dies, I'm gonna cry. Because she's cool. They keep coming! 
How many are there? Get, get bloody speared, mate. Shots are extremely effective. Kill the invader! Ow. Kill them! They're too strong! Got them! can't stop them! What if he's a cult of? Now, descend while we have a chance. Oh shit, he has a gun! What the? No, Vala! Boss, I don't care about you, but Vala! You monster! Turn you into a bloody pincushion, mate. If the gun is a Deathbringer gun, I wonder if they're like a nihilist, like, suicide cult. Wait, what the fuck? They have a Dorito! What? No, 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 no! No, 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 no! What? What the heck? He's got, he's got, he's got the little circle thing on his ear. He's got, he's got a Dorito too. Turn your face to the sun, child. Sun? Oh, fuck. Hey, that's our father. Come on, Dad. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, Dad. You've got a spear. You've got range. Just stab him. No, 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 unsubscribe, unsubscribe, I refute your reality. Think to your task, as you command. What? Explosives? What? 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 No. No, he's good. Aloy. 
Is he good? Is he gonna shield us with his body? No. 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 I'm not crying, you're crying. No, where's our Dorito? So, um, I was calling it a Dorito, but it's the, um, um, it's the focus. It's that little triangle thing on her ear. Um, she found it when she was six years old and, like, fell into an old ruin, um, and picked it up. And what it allowed her to do was see kind of a lot of technological areas it also lets her analyze the machines and it lets her see like their walking paths or i can scan it for their weak points and that's sort of like the gameplay functionality that it serves but um it is certainly something uncommon it was also i found it kind of interesting that she immediately was able to kind of pick it up and put it to her head and it instantly started working. So like another theory that I have is um, because we had a kind of a diary entry that had a date of 2066 amidst a bunch of stalactites and stalagmites, which take hundreds of years to form putting our current date somewhere in 2200s, vaguely, um, the humans might be kind of either genetically modified to integrate with technology or perhaps have a natural synthetic augmentation that's per that, like, proves through to uh, children. Because, like, she just... She just picked up the, the focus, put it to her head, and then immediately was able to interface with it, which seemed kind of, seemed a little bit odd that it immediately was able to do that and was starting to show various details. <laughs> 